What's good, everyone? Welcome to another Live Wire Sports Media. All right. I, I came across a video um, recently, and it was really, really interesting to me. And it's by uh, two guys named Mark and Rob Sports Showdown. Now, what I'm about to show y'all is pretty much um, something I haven't thought about, but these gentlemen brought it to my attention. So shout out to them for breaking it down and bringing something to light. Now, we know the Fever are on a two-game winning streak, but the style of offense for both games, against one against Atlanta and the one against Chicago for this past Sunday, the offense is totally different. Now, if we go back to the Washington, no, the Atlanta game where they won the game and Aaliyah Boston had a phenomenal game. She, um, I think she, she matched her, her career high, 27 points. Kelsey Mitchell had, I think, 22, 24 points in that game. And Caitlin only had seven. Now, after that game, Chrissy Size praised Aaliyah Boston. They asked her, and she blatantly said, oh, this is how we're going to play. We're going to feed the post. That doesn't mean we're going to work work out the post. We're just going to feed the post and in, 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 in out, inside, outside game. Now, prior to the game against Chicago, there has been a lot of speculation coming out about Lisa Bluter supposedly met with the owner, um, Simon, and the, um, and also with uh, the Drake uh, women's basketball head coach. Now, I don't know for sure what transpired between that because, the style, like I said, the style of offense are slightly different. If you look at the game against Chicago, it was more fluent, more catering to Caitlin's style, where she had 23 points, Boston had 19, Mitchell had 17, and I think um, um, the, the Major Smith had 17 also. So they all benefit, not just the previous game where it was just two high scorers and everybody else just chipped in here and there. So Mark and Rob, I'm going to let y'all listen to Mark and Rob because they, this is very interesting and it's very telling to see if this, this what happened in Chicago game carry over until tomorrow night's game. Rob, they went, they went through Boston last game and that Caitlin Clark was cut out in left field. I didn't even know. It was, it was kind of weird because they wanted her stand over there and then no one passed to her. And then it looked like that's the game, I guess, before and after the game. Uh, Christy Sides that's, said that's the offense they want to run because they ran it last year. Mm -hmm. Which, of course, is silly because Caitlin Clark wasn't there last year. Right. And you got the impression she was putting her foot down and saying, this is what we're going to do. Doggone it. And guess what, Rob? <laughs> They didn't do it the next game. No, they did not. <laughs> and I said, that's not sustainable because, number one, you're wasting Caitlin Clark. Number two, the fans won't have it. And number three, the owners won't have it because the fans would be unhappy. And I don't think it's best for their offense. I don't think it would work against the better defensive teams. The Dream just didn't have anyone underneath that was any good. So they changed it. And so, like, I'm thinking to myself, what happened? And I also thought between that, what was going to happen between that, between those three days? I said, I don't think the I think the owner's gonna say something to Chrissy Sides because of the fans. And I don't know what took place, but there was a change. And I also think I'm gonna give you another perspective because I'm an attorney and I wanted to be and I ended up doing criminal defense, but I, I knew that was one of the things I wanted to do. I also wanted to be a sports agent. And as looking at it from the sports agent viewpoint, I if I was her agent, I'd go in and say, Hey, e either get her involved in the offense and just or just trade her. <laughs> You know, right, right. You know, we're, we're just not going to be here next year. And e even if he doesn't meet it, because he doesn't have a lot of leverage, he does have leverage not to, she doesn't, she doesn't have to come back next year. Mm -hmm. Just making him think about that. If I was the owner or the general manager, I'd say, this is pretty serious. Their agent came to me. This way, Caitlin Clark doesn't look bad and saying, oh, yeah, I want to trade. I want to trade. And everybody says she's a crybaby and the haters pile on and all that stuff. But mm -hmm. um, 
Go ahead, Rob. You want to say something? But I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, you're right. I mean, like I said, not just the uh, owners. Like I said, this is outside social media was saying the exact, exact same thing. You know, they're saying, hey, what's going on here? You know, why are you wasting her away? You might as well just trade her away. Or they were saying, like we said, hey, she might go to Europe after this year. Why would she work? Why should you have to deal with this type of thing and not getting the ball? You know, I, I could score. I could play. What are you doing? What, I mean, you, what, why do you have the players freezing me out here? What's going on here? Yeah, I like, I like, I mean, yeah, it's a, your suggestion about the agent. Yeah, to put the little bug in the owner's head, like, hey, I better, I mean, I, maybe, ha, ha, ha. Maybe I don't know serious. if it happened, Rob, but if I was the agent, I would. With Kate and Clark's permission. I, I would have her permission first. But I wouldn't right. do it if I was Kate and Clark because no. people already criticize her for things she doesn't, wrong, doesn't do wrong anyways. And it looks like she's a baby if she does that. But that doesn't mean. But you, but you, would, but you would tell her first and say, hey, Caitlin, I'm going to mention this to the owner. Does it mean it's going to happen? And then run it by her first and see what she says. And then if she says, yeah, do it. I would, if I was Kate and I'd say, go for it. <laughs> yeah, I would too. Because, you know, because because she's right. Because Caitlin's right. It's not like Caitlin's complaining. Like It's not like LeBron doing something and getting a fire coach fired or LeBron's wrong or anything. Caitlin mm -hmm. would be 100% right because it's silly for them not to use. She knows what her talents are. She knows she's the best passer in women's basketball history. She knows she's better with the ball in the hand. You know, that's that's all it is to it. So, even though she might not know that, I think she is. Okay. So, so I, I want to give a kudos out to one of our uh, listeners who said the same thing that I did. And I said this before the game, and I was thinking about it for three days. But he said, something happened. This is uh, David Damien O. Damien O. Which is funny, because my middle name is Damien, and my confirmation name is David. So, I thought it was funny. Huh. Anyways, huh. he said, uh, something happened between Thursday and Sunday. They played Christie Ball on Thursday in that scheme. Caitlin is a role player. After the game, Sides made a statement that they're going to run everything through the post. On Sunday, they did a 180 and everything went through Caitlin. Everyone seemed to be on board except Mitchell, who still did not pass to Clark on several possessions. What happened? I think Sides was overruled. This is now Caitlin's team. Strong statement. This is now Caitlin's team. I agree with them. I agree with them too. And someone else Definitely. made a good comment about. Maybe now after they saw this, they're kind of on board with Caitlin and they're starting to respect her more because of what she's gone through the last 14 games with the physical play, the mental anguish and stuff. And maybe they start to respect her more and maybe they like her more and just realize they just kind of accept it. Look, she's going to get way more publicity than anybody else. We're just going to have to accept it. But we're, if we all want to win, we're just going to have to play together. And maybe it's in well, their heads now. Well, that's well, that's the main thing, Mark. That's what I was going to say is like, Maybe they kind of a light went off in their head, like, "Oh, gee, she really is good." Because they're starting to play with her and they see her passes, they see her in practice. Hey, she's the real deal. Uh, I think I, mean, I want to win games, and it looks like she can make us win more games and have fun and pass the ball to me, which has never happened in a while. So, because I'm not getting, I'm not, gonna, I'm not going to get the ball from Mitchell, that's for sure. So, <laughs> <laughs> I'm so, tired uh, of talking about that, but I'll make a video on that. Just that topic, Rob. You can talk about it from a coach's perspective. We used to have a. I think there were some NBA players like that. They it was it was like they got the ball inside. They called it like the black hole. It would never come back. The ball would never come out. Yeah, the <laughs> Mitchell one on one ball is what I call it. I don't know what the right name is for it, but it's yeah. not it's not good basketball, and it's it's not just Clark. She doesn't. She she shoots goes one on one. Too, you know too much at all. And and other people have pointed out other teammates don't give it to her and stuff. You know. It's mainly Mitchell, you know. Yeah, that one game they didn't when they accepted the side. But in general, a lot of the players get back to right. But I I think, really getting, getting back to the offense, I think, like the, like like the, like you and the, the commenter said, they're starting to do a little more. At least, at least I noticed. Like I, I think I suggested more uh, motion, and they weren't really good on their screens. But I think Boston's getting used to it now. She's like, oh geez, like she's coming. She was coming out a little too high on those screens. She's coming above the almost a three-point line and they shorten it a little bit to make it into like around the three-point line set the screen there i'm like oh okay that's much better and so boston can roll a little bit more it's hard for like i said she's not that agile to set a screen way above the three-point line and then roll to the basket like that that's too far for her she's not that quick so shorten it a little like that's what they did now she can roll and it's open clark will hit her or she'll be open for a three or you know, but uh yeah, I noticed the screen's a lot more better than last time. Right, good points, Rob. Now, listen, here's what I think took place. The owners went to him and let him know. 
this is not, you can't, you can't do that because, and, and coach sides now she's already in the hot seat. If she insisted on her offense and they lost a winnable game, Chicago sky had lost five of six and this was a home game. Mm-hmm. Boy, I think her job would be out the door the next day. I really, I really do. And I think mm-hmm. sides knew that they might not have said that to her, but they might've said, listen, this is, this is not acceptable. And left it at that, letting her know, well, guess what? If you do what you, your offense, you want to run and you lose, guess what? <laughs> Bye within 24 hours. I think that's what happened. And mm. she, she was wise to do this. And she actually looked like a better coach. She, she looked like a smarter coach, which is what she should have done in the first place. And I covered this in a previous video where I said, Coach Sides, I think, is jealous of Caitlin Clark because she wants to get credit for the improvement on the team. And she's afraid Caitlin Clark's going to get all the credit. If she, well, yeah, she like, doesn't like, do it her, if she doesn't do it her way, if she mm-hmm. just like give Caitlin Clark the ball, well, guess what? That's the best thing to do, and you're going to win more, so you're going to look smart because they're winning. That's that's that, that's the mind-boggling thing. I mean, you you're, as a coach, you want to win. You got the best player right there in front of you. Why would you like want to limit her and put, you know put the we're talking about cars, put the boot on her so she can't move? You know, just have her standing out there instead of like you know you want to win. That's that's your job as a coach. And yeah, I noticed she's getting a little more involved, a little more animated. She's getting a little more, but but I, I think yeah, I don't just talk to her. I still think she's gone after the year. It doesn't matter, but at least she can last. Maybe no, the they, season. If they go on a twenty-game winning streak, <laughs> then she won't be. <laughs> no, I don't think I don't. I'm not thinking. I, I know I know she doesn't have. I know she's not going to be there next year. I don't know, but I, I think know. this saved her. I think this game saved her a little more. Gave her a little more time because I don't think getting rid of her during this time or. It would kind of would kind of mess up the team, even though you're putting in a better coach. It kind of would. You still have to get used to the new coach and uh, things. So I think if she can just keep adjusting and giving uh, Caitlin more roles and more and more uh, play with the ball, she'll she'll slide through the season. And after that, she's gone. We'll see what happens. Anyways, let us know what you guys think about this. What do you think? The, the owner and the general manager, or both, or her agent, or all three, said <laughs> something, and this changed what was obviously she was insisting she was going to do, but she didn't do it. So it's very, I mean, something, something took place. It doesn't take a genius to figure this out. Yeah. So I just don't know what, but something took place. And I think kind of what I said took place, but I can't, you know, I wasn't there for the conversation. So anyways, let us know what you think. Um, the live show tonight, Eastern time, seven to eight, you can call in and you can also uh, make comments down below. And that's every Monday, except for major holidays. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. All right, guys. So you heard Mark and Rob, what they had to say. And I totally agree with them 100 percent because something had to take place because the offense of the last two games looked totally different. And I do agree with Rob said. I do believe Lisa Bluer. I mean, not Lisa Bluer, but Chrissy Size is out of there after the season. And I do believe Lisa Bluer interview. I believe that TikTok video that came out about her meeting with the owner. And I think something had gotten back. I think something has been said. I think something has been said is Chrissy Cyrus, because if you look at that after that post game interview that Chrissy Cyrus gave, you could tell she didn't want to give Caitlin no kind of credit of the game. You could look at her because she rolled her eyes. See, facial expression and emotion is very telling of a person. She knew she had to give Caitlin the ball. She knew she had to put the ball in her hand. Now, Kelsey Mitchell still does not pass the ball to her. And I already said it. Kelsey Mitchell is not going to be on this team. It, 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 whether she, she be Caitlin's best friend or not, she's not going to be on this team. So, if you look, go back. If you go back and look at the post game um, interview, when they asked of her about Caitlin almost getting a triple double, she narrowed it out. Said Caitlin almost. She said, "Oh yeah, well she almost had a triple double." It's like nonchalant trying to give her credit for almost getting a triple double, but you didn't you went in detail about saying, "Hey, well Caitlin, you know she played really well. She getting." Or she was like, oh, she had a bunch of teammates she was used to. Now she's getting used to her teammates and stuff like that. So she, I, I was watching her demeanor. She rolled, she turned her head, kind of like rolled her eyes, and then gave a fake smile back to the to the next um 
guy that wanted her to ask, um, meet a guy that was asking questions. Chrissy Sides do not want to give Caitlyn any credit, just like that these gentlemen were saying. She doesn't. But if you were smart, Chrissy Sides, you allow Caitlyn to run the offense. You allow everything to run through her and set up everybody and then reap the benefits from it. And, and it will make you a better coach. And then say, if you went somewhere else, you will be, you could get a job easily because you like, oh, well, I had two number one picks. Like you, she alluded to like, well, she had three number, she didn't know she had three number one picks with Ryan Howard on Atlanta. And then now Aaliyah Boston and Caitlin Clark. But Chrissy Sides is going to be her own worst enemy and it's going to be her own demise you know, when she get fired from this team because she's trying to handcuff Caitlyn. And if you see how, how the game was, because like, like Mark and Rob said, if she had played that same style, she played in Atlanta in this game against Chicago, um, Chicago and they lost, she would have got fired. She would have got fired. Because you, that was a team you you supposed to beat. You beat them once, and you're supposed to have beat them. You know what I'm saying? Just like when the um, the Fever played the Sparks early in the season, and they beat the Sparks. Why? Because even though Caitlin didn't have her most offensive output, but she was able to distribute the ball, and she hit key shots. Now, when the game that they lost, she had 30 in that game, but – Everybody else wasn't in tune with her at that time. So y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you think Mark and Rob is correct? Leave your thoughts and comments down below. I want to hear what y'all got to say. I do. I believe every bit what these guys say. I do believe that she literally was talked to prior to this game, that game Sunday. She was talked to. Now, as I stated early in the video, I want to see how that carry over to tomorrow night. If Caitlyn is going to be Caitlyn against the Wizards because she dropped 30 on them. So let's see. Until then, God bless. Stay safe.